Imagine having an elevator stretching from the Earth's surface into space to send things up and down. Sounds kind of wacky. For instance, what would stop it from falling back to Earth? You have a ribbon in this case, or a cable. One end attached to an anchor point on Earth, the other end 62,000 miles up in space. And due to the rotation of the Earth, the upper end is thrown outward. The lower end is pulled down by gravity and it remains stationary. Sort of like spinning a ball on a string around your head. Dr. Bradley Edwards from the Institute for Scientific Research isn't the first to think of the idea for a space elevator. Physicists have been toying with the concept for years. Edwards believes a space elevator offers a cheaper, safer form of space travel that eventually could be used to carry explorers to the planets. Edwards's elevator would climb on a ribbon made of nanotubes, tiny bundles of carbon atoms many times stronger than steel. The cable would be attached to a platform on the equator. The cable would be about three feet wide and thinner than a piece of paper, but capable of supporting a payload of up to 13 tons. At this stage, they don't have the capability to fabricate the carbon nanotube cable. The whole thing is a visionary proposal that has lots of interesting features, but it's no more than that. The renowned science fiction writer Arthur C. Clarke popularised this idea in the 1970s, but Edwards says now the idea can become reality. He probably needs about two more years of development of the carbon nanotubes to obtain the strength needed. After that, work on the project can begin. Edwards envisions launching sections of cable into space on rockets. A climber, his version of an elevator car, would then be attached to the cable and used to add more lengths of cable until eventually it stretches down to the Earth. Then, going into space would simply be a matter of pressing the up button.